Hey church, so glad you could join us again today. I'm Pastor Marcus and today we're going through Acts 14 of our daily devotional through the book of Acts. If you've been reading and following along with us, you would have seen in chapter 13 that Paul and Barnabas have been commissioned on their first missionary journey. And so today we see in chapter 14 the last three spots that they go on their missionary journey. And so if you read through there, you'll see them going through Iconium and Lystra and Derbe and then returning back to Antioch where they started their missionary journey. And so when we dig into this, the few verses that I just want to read is in chapter 21, or actually not chapter 21, verse 21 of chapter 14. And it says, After preaching the good news in Derby and making many disciples, Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch of Poseidon, where they strengthened the believers. They encouraged them to, to continue in the faith, reminding them that they must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. Paul and Barnabas also appointed elders in every church. With prayer and fasting, they turned the elders over to the care of the Lord, in whom they had put their trust. Then they traveled back through Poseidon into Pamphylia. They preached the word in Pergur and then returned to down to Atelia. Finally, they returned by ship to Antioch of Syria, where their journey had begun. And so as we see here that Paul and Barnabas go back to their places that they preached the good news and made believers. And if you read back in chapter 13 and chapter 14, you see that many of these spots, they were actually driven out of town because of preaching the word of God. So they actually went through hardships. They were stoned, they were drugged through town. And there were a few that they, that they were re rewarded and thanked for coming to town and they were able to leave peacefully. And so why, why this last six verses of chapter 14 are so important is that we see that if they hadn't gone and followed God into those hardships as well as the good ones, they would not have been able to share with them that going through hardships makes you a stronger Christian, that you have to go through hardships in order to be with God in the kingdom of God, that that's part of being a Christian. And so I encourage you today that as you go through times, as we go through this corona, as we go through different changes that are coming this way, as we are getting back together as a church and going back to our normal way of life, but normal 2.0, that you are now able to share the stories you have with other people. And if you have yet to do so, continue to press into those areas with people and follow where the Lord is leading, regardless of how that situation turns out. Because you will see that down the road, it was for a purpose, just like Paul and Barnabas had to go into these towns and preach the name of God, even though they were stoned and beaten and dragged out, that when they went back, they were able to strengthen the believers that had believed in those cities and be able to say, hey, this is normal. This is being a follower of Jesus. Be strengthened, be encouraged that we too have walked through this. So church, be encouraged today that what you've been through has not been used for nothing, has not been tossed away, that God is using it for your good and that he will use it in the future as you share the love of Jesus with those around you. Be encouraged, church. I'll pray and then you have a great day. Dear Father, Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you that, that you use everything we go through for your good and for our good and to be able to spread the name of Jesus. Lord, these last few months have been crazy, have been full of changes, full of unknowns, and hardship has come out of this for many of us. But Lord, we, we trust you, that you do have a purpose, that you were refining us by the fire, you're refining us through this time, and that we are better people, better Christians for it, and better vessels to be able to spread your love and your grace and your mercy and your truth of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we continue to give you honor for all that you are doing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great day, church.